Shout out to all the fans. Thank you guys for supporting me and Turner. I appreciate it. Shout out to all the guys from FaZe here. Much love, boys. TwitchCon, one last time. Let's hear it for your number one duo. <laughs> Every single day, not stop. Probably about 12 to 15 hours a day. We are live from TwitchCon. Game one, heat one. There's down there secure a little box for themselves and look up. They can take shots on a lot of these players that are just floating in. Cloak and Tifu landing and, and, on top of each other. And that's that beautiful communication. Think of that call out, right? Like, look at all the little builds there are. They know exactly which box they want to land on in. 16 players left. We're now moving towards when the bonus points come in for those top placings. Remember, fourth and fifth place, you get a point. Second or third, you get two points. First, the victory royale, three points. Everyone has that on their mind. 12 players remaining. Closey now knocked. Tifu with a quick shot of a heavy. Will look for the elimination himself. Will he be able to save Cloak? I just don't believe so with the zone moving on in. It's all down to Tifu. He's building on up. Seven players left. I believe he has the high ground for the moment. And it just seems like Lupo, he is always in these positions. This, this is a position we've seen him, seen him in so many times the past through. Four Steel. left. Fall skirmish, summer skirmish. This is, this is, and there you go. Using that heavy snipe as a way to breach through surfaces. It's a 1v1v1. One one it's a 1v1v1, one one, and Tifu still has the high ground. You cannot make this up. This has all the signs of a Tifu and Cloaksy game one victory here. For Mitro, this this zone will chuck him on down. There's the quick shot from Hero. Hero. The double barrel, so good. Tifu looks like he's ready for the heal. It's not going to come on in. Tifu blocked by the tree. But Hero gets dropped by the storm. And just like that, Tifu and Cloaksy set the tone and prove why they are two of the favorites here this weekend. Not even a little surprise. Here we go. Five minutes, 20 seconds for $20,000. Cloaksy spamming the grenades down below just to see if he can knock some structure out, expose his opponent underneath. They're going to just keep going Ten for it. 10 nades, my goodness. They're not even there. there. Go, that last one might hit. Got shots from the side, gets a bunch of tanks, 35. There's no shield on the target, so the call out on Eternal is definitely a, a get aggressive right now. No shield on the target. The trade out there, Tifu getting Eternal. The elimination, which means a 2v1 situation now. Mountain's still above them somewhere. Sounds like Tifu is in it and catches him. You see in the feed there, Tifu shot. You have the ammo to do it. Tifu does it. He's down to 45 AR shots right now. So he's wasting a lot of his resources. Cloaks, he's only got 80 as well. They've got to make the most of the end of this. Cloak seems like he's found his little pocket where he wants us to begin to slay on out from, as it looks like Tifu's in another build battle. And you see, in this build battle, Cloaks, he stops for a second to try to help knock down this opponent to give Tif Tifu any help he can get in that engagement. They're back on the high ground again. And Cloaks, he's turned now to take this roll and just shoot down on any unsuspecting enemy. Like go. this. What a shot. Exes from Trouble Boys goes down. They're to always shotgun. up top. It is nuts, man. Heat First standing. Place. Not 15, even close. 15. Not points. even close. What a lead. There you go. I knew it. Yeah. Taking knew. selfies. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry. I was uh, not even worth it. Hey, uh, not surprising that Cloak and Tifu take away that dub here in Heat number one. Guys. Let's just talk about this, okay? So first off, what is it like and what was the journey like for you guys making it here? The journey? Like what, like grinding or like the actual travel? Let's do both. All right, so I mean, the travel wasn't bad. We're uh, staying in LA right now, so it was like a 40 minute flight. We flew up yesterday. But other than that, we've been grinding in scrims, playing in my Discord, other competitive Discords, just every day grinding, whether it's solos or duos or whatever. But what do you got to say, man? That's pretty much it, every single day. Non-stop, probably about 12, 15 hours a day. There you go. Now, what's interesting is you guys have really adapted the, the glider redeploy. And you guys, I mean, you make it look seamless, right? You always have high ground or you're rotating around. I mean, how, how has that changed the way you approach Fortnite? It's changed a lot. Like, um, when like, people are rotating, it's so much harder to get kills now, or eliminations, I should say. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the, you use less mats now, so more people are building. It changes the game a lot, but what do you think? It changes the game completely. Um, we're saving ammo instead of shooting people out because there's really no point to shoot them out because they're just going to live anyway. But there's a lot more people in game with mats. So that's only kind of hard part, but other than that, it's not really too bad. 
So, I mean, were you guys coming in being like, yeah, we're going to be the number one duo in Heat 1? Did you guys, like, falter at any point, or was it just, like, all confidence? Well, I mean, we, I like to come into every tournament, like, super confident. I think it helps me play better. But uh, we tried really hard the first game. We ended up getting the win. The second game, we ended up getting, like, what, second place? And then after that, we're like, all right, screw the win. Let's just, when the horn hits, we're just going to try to get as many eliminations as possible. And that did not work at all. That was <laughs> It was didn't work. It didn't work. We chased someone from, I think, Risky Reels all the way to Tomato Bridge. Didn't even get the kill. About uh, 2,000 mats later, 12 splode, 10 nades, no kills. So that's what happened. Uh, final question for you. What's it like being able to mix it up with the European players? Um, I mean, I don't really know who I was fighting, so I don't know. I mean, it could have been anyone. We could have not fought any EU players, yeah. so we don't know. So it's just all one big blur. You guys are like, yeah. look, we eliminated everyone all the time, nonstop, classic Tifa and Cloak. That's us. I mean, yeah, I mean, the last, the last two games, we were just holding W on people. We were just rushing people, but hopefully, you know. Pretty much, yeah. 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 Well, they get a drop to the zone. Tifu and Cloak, he's still alive. Tifu still has a slurp to use. Hasn't had a chance to use it yet. And now he's down to the low ground. This could be the end of the game for Tifu. Cloaks, he's still a lot more healthy. There you go, slurp now being popped. We'll slowly begin to tick that health back up. At this point, everybody, every bit of healing could change the game for that duo. The consistency of Tifu and Cloaks, it is... It's impressive. It's now three straight games in the top 10. Still with an excellent kit, a ton of ammunition for everything. 10 rockets, 110 shotgun shells they'll never use. And there's one coming out, tries to get that, but it looks like Goshan actually picks that. Goshan's out five of them himself, and look at three Pain, players in the high ground. Flame, the FPS all up top. Cloaksy, the shotgun on Goshan there. Picks up his third Elam. That's six total, like you said. So two believe, more. One more puts him at seven. It's every those Elim two on the that. low ground, and the rest are all going to float down from above. They've got to move with this zone. And now you've, they've got to you know, trade back with rockets of their own. The zone's starting to close here. Jack is going to come down to potentially heal off two teams above. Six players remaining. Cloak and Tifu. Tifu with no shield. 75 HP. Cloak, 100, 100. He's in an excellent spot. Everything's reloaded. They're building up. They're b basically establishing every single square on They've the They've got bottom. a campfire and a med kit. They're trying to play around a potential low ground. Fung Bomb gets you a know, med kit play. off there. Fung Bomb's pushing in. Fung Bomb's is trying to heal. Fl oh, Flames Tifu got everything. gets the knock. But Flames got everything you get ever need, too. Cloak's he's trying to shoot down this. Top side, so they can't heal. Can they do it? There's just three players left. They're dropping him on down. Will they be able to out-survive this zone? They're floating. Tifu's now knocked. He can't use his heals. Cloaksy ticking on down. Just 20 health remaining. Gets one. Who wound up winning it? Cloaksy's down on the low ground as well, I believe. They got Tifu it. They did it. One. Are you kidding me? The last second push out into the storm may have changed that game from a third or second to a first How place for Victor Royale. $50,000 for the gentleman from FaZe, Jack. Cloaksy can do no wrong today. Cloaksy can do no wrong. We got to look Here at this Here it is again. from his perspective. Yeah, we cut away at an awkward time, but this hip fire right there and Funk Bomb drops to the storm alongside Flame. Most Cloak. eliminations of the weekend. 22. They win $60,000 for that. Cloaksy had 22. Here, Here it is. Go. Tifu and Cloaksy, 20. Way at the top. Eight of limbs, 17 points. A five point lead over second place. Wow. Fung Bomb and Nate Hill put on an Look excellent show as well. Ghost gets. What you got for me? Dude, I don't, I don't have words. Just shout out to all the fans. Let's go! You are the number one duo. How are you guys feeling right now? Dude, I don't, I don't have words. Shout out to all the fans. Shout out to my partner, Tifu. Good stuff, Turner. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good stuff, Turner. All right, Tifu, what about you? Cloaksy with the hot carry, dude. Yeah, with the hot carry. <laughs> You guys proved to the world that you are number one. Did you think you'd be number one coming into this? Were you guys that confident? What was going through your mind? I mean, the first three games we were up by a lot, so we were pretty confident the whole way through. I mean, 
I didn't expect this. I knew we were gonna do well, but this is crazy. Closey? I knew we were do, gonna do well, but something clicked today that our synergy was way better than it normally was, and it was scary, but yeah. Congratulations to both of you. Now, would you like to say anything to your fans, to everyone joining us here, everyone joining us at home? I love you, Mom.